Hey Simleys, it's Delicacy here with Let's Play The Sims 4, Barbie Season 2, Episode 23. And we are back at the Barbie Mansion. In the last part, uh, we were in Diamond's household and Diamond had her daughter, Mercedes, which is really cool. And I know a lot of you guys were pretty disappointed that she didn't call her daughter Margie. Uh, but I don't know, I just felt like maybe that's not quite right just yet. Or maybe, say, Amethyst or someone will name them Margie. I don't know. Maybe if she has another child, we can call her Mercedes and Margie. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, that was really exciting. And we also have had Onyx, who's really cool. And I really loved the comments saying that maybe Onyx is going to be a genius, but he tries to cover it up to be a bit funny in a class clown. Like he doesn't want to be known as a genius, but he is. And I, I quite liked that idea. I thought that was quite unique. And I also liked the fact that Ruby would get really je jealous of Onyx as well. So maybe <laughs> I think we'll be a little bit mean to him, like yell at him a little bit, a little bit, because Ruby is very bratty and she likes all attention on her. She goes, Onyx, you're so annoying. Do what I say. <laughs> That's what she would be like. Oh, I love this house. I love this build. This has got to be one of my favorite builds ever. Every time I play it, I just love it. Uh, but also to let you guys know, I have given... Uh, oh, what? Oh, good grief. Barbie's been abducted. When did that happen? Oh my gosh. Ken, he must be very uncomfortable that his wife is gone. Uh, do you want to maybe... You know what? Let's go save her. <laughs> Let's go explore space. He'll be like, Barbie, I'm coming for you. Uh, you may also realize that he has a new hairdo from the Sims 4 dine out pack. I just feel like that push back hair is just what he needed. He was beginning to look a bit robotic. So I, with his old slicked back plastic looking hairdo, which I think suits Ken because he is a doll, but I just felt like a change. So he's going to go off and say Barbie's like, all right, kids. Stay safe. I will be back by the morning. Well, kind of it's morning in an hour or so. Also, Barbie, the hair I was going to show you is a new dine out hair, which I think is made for Barbie. I think she looks amazing. Oh, and she's missing her family. Ken is filling up on rocket fuel when an alien spacecraft pulls up to the pump next to him. Ken doesn't think much of it until he sees the alien loading crates onto his ship. <laughs> the space police are after me, the alien shouts. Hide the stuff. I promise I'll make it worth it. Okay. We'll see how that goes. She's just dazed, zapped and jolted from being abducted. Are you okay, Barbie? Oh, she is dazed. I mean, she looks fabulous as always, but oh, good grief. Poor Barbie. I'm also thinking Barbie's going to have to open a restaurant at some stage because she's the biggest entrepreneur ever. Let's just turn it over and see what happens. And Barbie does everything. There's all kinds of Barbies. Malibu Barbie. Uh, there's probably astronaut Barbie. You know, she does everything. So we want her to to have a little bit of uh, experimentation with the new game pack, I think, at some point. But not right now. Thank officer and return home. Oh, Ken, come see your wifey. Actually, how are the kids going? Let's get them to be in a better mood. I did give them all little makeovers. Probably the most drastically made over is Amethyst, who's got this new male hairdo now that we can have uh, male hair as female hair and female hair, hair as male hair. I just thought this was a really cool hairstyle. Looks great. And I just thought we'd experiment with some of the men's tops and female clothes because Amethyst is very unique in that way. She loves fashion, but she loves having a sense of fashion that not everybody likes. And also I'm thinking Topaz is becoming a little bit like he, it's almost like he doesn't want to look like he's part of the Barbie family. He wants to look like a bit of a bum in a way, but at the same time, he's kind of cool. So he's got a bit of an indie slash, I don't really care what I look like. I don't need expensive brands look. So I think a lot of his clothes would be secondhand or really expensive clothes that look secondhand. I think that's, I think that's his kind of style. Uh, anyway, let's just, before Barbie goes uh, back to the office, let's get Ken to come over here and ask, oh my gosh, are you okay? You know, romance her, express his fondness and just make sure that she was abducted and he loves her and he never wants her to be taken away from him again. Oh, 
I love Amethyst's new look for a change. We might actually dye her hair back to brown at some stage. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if you would like her hair to be a brunette once again or keep the amethyst purple hair color. It's just harder to dress her because everything has to go with the purple hair, which means she ends up wearing a lot of whites and blacks and grays. I said, oh, I love your dazzling smile, Bobby. It's so beautiful. You look even better than the woman I fell in love with. Oh, you guys. Oh, I love her little hand gesture then. Like, oh, thank you. You know what? Now would be a very, very good time to try for a baby. Hashtag 100 Barbie baby challenge. <laughs> hey, the kids are about to go off to school. Why not you two? Why not? We'll, tr we'll just keep trying for twins. Uh, oh, poor Onyx is a little bit tired. I'm also wondering if maybe we should move Jem back into the house because how many bedrooms do we have right now? We have Ruby, we have Amethyst, we have Onyx, we have the Master. Oh, we don't really have room for Jem, do we? That's a bit upsetting. We could build a room for Jem over here, but I just feel like he should move home for a little while. Hmm. We could turn Barbie's, turn Barbie's office into a bedroom or the nursery, but then we're trying for another baby. <gasps> I know what we should do. We should say that Ruby has to share a room with Onyx because, <laughs> because Jem's moving back home. So she'll really, really be annoyed at Onyx for that. So we're gonna get rid of her grand double bed and we're gonna get Onyx, Onyx stuff in here. Sorry, Ruby, why were you even sleeping in his room? Why would you do that, girl? And we're gonna give her a nice pink bed. As she gets older, we'll probably start moving into the reds, but she's still, very much a pink pink kind of gal for the time being. Uh, what's over here? Oh, she's got her wardrobe there. Hmm. Can delete the wardrobe for now. Oof, that would make her angry. Maybe put Onyx's bed there. Her bed here, so she still has that main part. Maybe we can put her little stool over here. Like that, that looks kind of cute next to the bed, doesn't it? She's still got all her toys, but Onyx is going to need his bedside table. Oof. Uh, so we can move Jem back home for a little while before he kind of finds his way into the big world himself. So <laughs> we're gonna have to put in a few of Onyx's things. Little Ruby is gonna be so annoyed, but hey, let's pack up some of his toys. Oh, we should put the skull bag in here because she definitely won't like a skull bag. Like, why don't you leave your skull bag in the middle of the room? Keep my room clean. I hate you, Onyx. You've ruined everything. <laughs> All right, and then we'll put uh, a nice... Oh, there goes my tummy. That was gross. Sorry. Uh, we'll put a nice bed in for Jim. Oh, she's going to move out of the way. She's going to have a big hissy fit in a second. Off you go, honey bunnies. There you are. Go to this and we're going to... Uh, can he have a double bed is the question. Yeah, we'll give him a double bed. Oh. BB dot move objects on just like that. Okay, so we're gonna move Jem back in. All right, so uh, I'm just going to go to manage worlds and then we'll invite Jem back to the back to the Barbie mansion, which will be an adjustment for him. But I really think that Diamond and Augustus and little Mercedes should have their own space for now. Now that they've started a family, so. Hopefully he won't, he won't mind. Uh, all right, let's go back to Willow Creek and go to the Roberts family. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we're gonna get, oops, 
Jam Roberts to go into Windenberg, into the Barbie doll makeover family. There we go. Ken, where did you go? Oh, what an awesome looking family. You know, they're all, I mean, when I say they're all so different, there's not heaps of diversity, but in terms of the Barbie doll aesthetic, they're looking pretty different to, to all other Barbie dolls. Does that make sense? I don't know. We should have a bit more diversity though in this LP. We'll start introducing some more uh, diverse looking Sims as the kids begin to meet their significant others, I think. I think that would be cool. Be nice and yeah. yeah. But I do like the family. I think they're, they're a bunch of interesting Sims who all have slightly different personalities. But I think I have to say my favorite is Amethyst and Topaz. I just love their personal style. It's so different and so against the commercial kind of commercial looking, conventional looking fashion on Barbie dolls or kind of even really over the top fashion on Barbie dolls. Welcome back home, Gem. Are you guys done? Okay, good. We'll try, we'll check out how the, how the trying for a baby went, but let's run up to him and give him a hug. Give your son a hug. Ask about love life. She probably would do that straight away. Where's a hug? There we go. There we go. Oh, she's so happy that her eldest son is home. Oh, look at her strut. Imagine if that was your mom. You come home and your mom looks like that. Crazy. Oh, he's like, mom, I'm going to the bathroom. Come give me a hug, sweetie. Oh, it's so good. Welcome home. And I want to ask him about his love life. Like, so, did you meet a nice girl while you were gone? What's her name? Tell us everything. Are you still seeing Honey? We'd love to have Honey join the family. <laughs> He's like, Mom, <sighs> let's get a picture for Instagram. I don't want to talk about my love life. Okay. <laughs> oh, Barbie. Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Okay. Uh, Ken's looking very sassy as well in his uh, pink attire. And let's have Ruby discover that her room has been taken over. Let's get her to go upstairs. All right. And then Onyx is in her room. She's like, what are you doing in my room? <laughs> oh, this house is so big. It takes her so long to actually get up here. Okay. <gasps> Hands on hips. Not happy, Jan. Let's go up to him and wake him up and yell at him. Why are you in my room? Okay, let's just be mean, yell at. We want her to have a massive tantrum and Amethyst will come up and be like, calm down. Don't be mean to your little brother. We still love you. You just need to share your room for a while. That's the kind of sister she is. You cannot stay in my room. I don't share. Onyx. Uh-oh. Our power just went off. He doesn't care. He'll have a very tough skin after putting up with his little sister. And we'll get Barbie to come up here. And she can maybe ask to clean up toys. Nah. We need to discipline we need to discipline her a little bit. Oh, we should get her to be really angry and, oh, admire new possession. Can we knock it down? I don't think we can. Got to make her more angry. Keep yelling at him. These guys are not going to get along, I don't think. Lecture about misbehavior. You do not take over other people's rooms. <laughs> All right, we'll get him to be a little bit mean back. They're having a little bit of a face off and Barbie's letting Diamond know you need to share. Onyx is only going to be here for a little while, so you need to apologize. <laughs> Look at him laugh. And now Barbie's angry at him for him being rude back and retaliating. So I think she'd like them to hug it out. Let's get them to hug. Let's get him to apologize to Diamond and she, I'm um, Diamond, what am I talking about? Ruby, I always call her Diamond. Can she knock this down now that she's angry? Let's get her to smash up all her toys. 
<laughs> oh, bro, Barbie, the kids are fighting. Oh, dear. She's got to go to the toilet. <laughs> Look at little Ruby go. <laughs> She's like, I hate my family. <laughs> I'm going to ruin all my toys because they don't care about me anymore. Ah, she's feeling much better now, and home wrecker. Some seems love to witness an exact wanton destruction. Oh, now she's feeling better. That is good, and maybe she'll go over to her mum and uh, suck up to her mum a little bit and beg for new toys. And Barbie will probably give her a new, a new toy as well. Ah. Uh, because I think Barbie would do that kind of thing. Uh, let's get Ken to maybe pay the power bills. We want those powers to go back on. 35,000. Like, please, can you buy me a new dollhouse? I broke mine. <laughs> Barbie says, oh, I'm so proud of you for letting, for sharing your room with Onyx. Of course, we'll buy you new toys. Daddy will fix your dollhouse as well. <laughs> No, Topaz will fix your dollhouse as well. Should get Topaz to fix it. Where is he? Oh, he's over here. Wait, where? Where are you, Topaz? Oh, he's here. Get Barbie to ask him to fix it. Uh, lecture about responsibilities. It is your responsibility as man of the house to fix your little sister's dollhouse. Okay? Oh, mom, she's so spoiled. She's going to turn out to be a brat when she's older. She already is one. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, I always get my way. He's like, okay. <laughs> so he can fix the dollhouse. And uh, we're going to buy little Ruby another dollhouse because, because she needs one not. Which one does she not have? This one. So she's going to have every dollhouse you can you can get. There we go. What a lucky girl. And she can name her dolls the uh what should we call them? The Ruby Love Heart family. Ruby Love Heart's house. <laughs> she can play with her new dollhouse. There we go. How cute. All right, so Onyx is exhausted. We're going to get him to have a proper snooze, I think. Angry. Yeah, poor guy. He's going to have a very tough skin. I think that'll affect his upbringing a little bit, having, having Ruby always being rude to him and mean to him. Oh, Topaz, such a good guy. I reckon Topaz would probably end up being pretty handy. How is his... How is his comedy going? He's level five comedy. We should probably practice that a little bit more. Uh, go down to his his bedroom and practice that. Although he's pretty tired. What's the time? One in the afternoon. We could probably have a nap before some practice and dinner time. And Jim, I feel like we should maybe... Let's invite Honey over. A lot of you guys want honey to a lot of you guys want honey to have a makeover so we might do that in the next part I don't know how to make her over though like I don't know if she's gonna become a little bit fake to impress Jem because he's never really committed to her or if she's gonna stick to her guns and just be really lovely and kind of feminine or maybe she's more a little bit on the hippie side I don't know love to see what you guys think about that too but I think uh, he should make her something to eat. He's going to be a little bit romantic in that sense and make her some grilled cheese sandwiches because he's not the best cook. He's used to mum doing a lot of cooking for him. But he's trying. He's trying. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go out on a date with Honey. Let's go to a restaurant. Uh, so let's kiss hands and... It's weird how it says they're just friends, but they're, that's his girlfriend and his sweetheart and his lover and acquaintance. I don't really get all the relationships. Is that because he's unlocked all those relationships or is that a glitch? I don't get it. Oh, you guys, so cute. 
All right, let's go to a restaurant out on a date or we could go out for a family late lunch, but I think some of them are a little bit tired. So, oh, she's thinking about the dollhouse. How did she know? We'll just do a few romantic interactions. Oh, imagine if they had a baby, if he knocked her up. That would be very naughty, naughty, naughty. I don't know, this, this LP can go in so many directions. It's like, I can't choose. Uh, all right, so Amethyst, how are you going? You are teen, okay, so. Bookworm, how's your music going actually? Her guitar level's only three. We should really work on that, seeming she's in such a good mood. And over here we'll sing a song now nah, let's not campfire song let's maybe just practice 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 that's what matters the most that bedroom's so cool imagine having a bedroom like this it's pretty impressive like girl's got style all right, Topaz, you've had enough of a nap, otherwise you won't sleep tonight. So let's get you to work on your skills as well. And Gem, wait, where did your girlfriend go? Where'd your lady go, huh? Huh? Honey, honey, I'm home. Oh good, she's coming upstairs. Maybe they can have a little bit of a woohoo. Ooh, maybe they should, can they woohoo on a bed pushed up against a wall? I always get confused because I know they can sleep with a bed pushed up against a wall, but I don't know if they can actually woohoo. I think they can. Because I think they just move over like they do when they sleep. Let's get them to go upstairs. How awkward. Amethyst is in the room like next door. Although she's got her music on, she's got a guitar going. Oh! Oh my. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, Jim! No! Oh, right, okay, so they can't do that with a bed pushed up against a wall. That is so awful! <gasps> Just using your little brother's bedroom to woohoo with your girlfriend. That is absolutely disgusting, okay? You can't do that. Topaz has to put up with Jim. Like, that's his big brother for you. He's like, oh, seriously? He should tell his mom, can Jem just go home or get his own place? He's super annoying having come back home. And Barbie, of course, will say to Topaz that he needs to understand that any family member, when it's time, when they need any help, if they need a roof over their heads, anything they need, any of them will always welcome back home to the Barbie mansion. She loves having her kids at home. She loves a full household. And I also think that we should check, once we give Topaz a little bit of a lecture, I think we should check uh, how our pregnancy is going. Are we pregnant? Are we not? Let's have a look. Oh, honey. I don't know. I feel like she knows she can't fully trust Jem, but she doesn't want to believe it. That's what I think. <laughs> little Ruby's just eating all her popcorn. Ah, just eating treats all day long. All right. Just, saying, just continuing to give Topaz that lecture about Jem being allowed home and that he's a nice big brother and he should appreciate Jem more because he's not home very often. You can't. Oh, she can't get to that bathroom. Why can't you get there? Oh, because of Ruby. Um, uh, let's go. Well, you know what? She'd probably want to do the test in her own ensuite because she wouldn't want her kids to interrupt or walk in on her, I'd say. It's quite a private thing to do. So, oh, Kenny. Maybe we should just all go out for family dinner, actually, in the next part. I might do that, actually. <clears throat> and Honey can come with them. Okay. Are we on again for another baby? Let's see, shall we? It's like, will it be twins this time? I feel like it's just not gonna be twins. <laughs> we can only hope. Yay! Bobby is knocked up once again. Woo! How exciting! Eating for two. Wow! Actually, how many are in this house? Are 
two, four, six, seven. Oh, so she can't have twins anyway because Jem's in the house, but hopefully by then she'll move. <laughs> Telling Ken the good news. Are you going to give your lady a big smooch? No, don't go eat food. Give her a smooch, mister. Congratulate her. They just, they're just going to keep making babies their whole life. <laughs> and he's going to profess his undying love. In that beautiful master bedroom suite. Oh. Oh, so sweet. Oh. Ruby. They're probably thinking, let's not tell Ruby today. Let's tell her. Let's just wait a little while. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.